Hey everybody, we're back in the kitchen and we are going to braise some short ribs. And uh, Aaron and I, Aaron's on the camera, say hello. Hey, hey. By the way, why is Aaron behind the camera, not in front of the camera? That's how I like it. Man, <laughs> people look at me and they think I'm just owning the show. Oh. Would you rather do this, babe? No. No? Okay. It'd be, so, it would be painful. We work on it together and it's a very good partnership that we have here. Yes. Aaron and I work very well in the kitchen. Yep. And, uh, well, I guess the brain synapses between my, my brain and my tongue work faster. She needs Probably. time to process it. So generally, Aaron makes better decisions than I do. Oh, jeez. Ha! So, uh, this is an amazing recipe and it comes off of a cut of meat. That's the oven, that's up to temperature. And uh, Here, let's look at this meat. So as with any braising, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first sear it, all right? And searing the meat uh, generates this Maillard reaction. That's a browning of the meat that layers flavor into the meat. So you're, you're gonna, uh, Basically, as you go through these steps, and we sear this, then we braise this, and then we're gonna make the mushroom reduction, okay? You're adding different layers of flavor, and then we add the sides that we serve it with, and that's just another layer of flavor. Each layer acts as its own distinct flavor, but added together, they just form this amazing, you know, love affair, am yeah, I right? It's, it's wonderful. Beautiful. So we're gonna start this now. So uh, tell us what short ribs are. So short ribs are from the chuck section. It's a it's a really uh, dense, uh, uh, fibrous type of cut. So it's super tough, you know, you need that time. So what braising does is braising is the meat that cooks in moist heat for a long period of time and what happens is the collagen so that tough fibrous connective tissue breaks down in that process into gelatin gelatin <laughs> and the gelatin forms the basis of your broth, your finishing your broth. So what yeah. we're gonna do is, we got a nice hot pan now. Come and on that over. does have a bone, the rib, obviously. Yeah, they short got rib. bones in them. Uh, I am not going to put any oil or anything in this pan, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the fat side down, uh. all right? And that's gonna give me the oil in the pan. See how that oil is just starting to spit out now, okay? I'm going to pick the fattiest ones and I'm going to put them fat side down. Now, I'm using this nice shallow pan. You want to sear in the pan that you're going to be braising in because it's just that other added layer of flavor. Yeah. So I'm going to turn the fan on. And what we're going to do is we're going to sear these on all sides. Okay, I'm going to flip them over to the other side, onto this side here. Can you see that? So I'm going to flip them over onto that side yeah, yeah, first. Of and then I'm going to sear them. I'm going to stand them up on the end like that. To okay, to braise that side. So we're going to cut to this and then we'll just get to the. Uh, this is where I get to drink a beer. <laughs> I get to drink a beer as I braise, sear. Oh, Google. sear! <laughs> oh, that's even better. <laughs> All right, see you in a few. Are, uh, wrapping up. I'm going to turn the pan off right now, and I'm going to start returning these back into the pan. Okay, so I had to, I had to do it in stages. All right. Now this is what we're looking for right here. Okay. That's what you're looking for on all sides, all right? So I'm gonna start putting these back in with this bone side up. Or however best, it's a little loud, to be honest. It's pretty crazy how loud it is between the fan and the searing itself. Okay. 
That's why I'm standing these up on the end, is so I have room in the pan. Do you see this? Yeah, I want to close okay. up on it now. There it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pour the beer in here to, to shut this up, just to calm it down a little bit. Guess what? Have to open another. I have to open another beer <laughs> and not use all of it. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Now that it's quieted down, I can turn the fan off and I can talk about beer and I can talk about the level. So, first off, let's look at the level that we're pouring to. We're going to pour this to about three quarters of the level to the meat. All right, actually I'm gonna use it all. So this was two pints of beer. I'm gonna use that all. Take a look at that. Yeah, That's wow. beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lid that. And before I put it in the oven, I'm gonna talk about beer. The things, you, I'm just gonna talk about what you wanna avoid. You want to avoid things like IPA, all right? A good red beer, a dark beer, uh, I'm using a Dunkel, all right, and honestly, it's just because I went to the store and I looked at it, I was like a Dunkel, and that's what I'm after. I like buying Ohio beer. If I uh, would have thought about doing this uh, dinner in time, my friend Jason, who is a great customer, great friend of the farm, uh, owns a brewery called Codex Brewery. They make amazing beer. He makes amazing beer. I'd have got it from him, but he wasn't open yet. I texted him and he was doing something, so I would have got beer from him. But anyway, uh, I used a Dunkel. I'm gonna get this in the oven. And so, so the point about the beer is very simple. Don't use an IPA, don't use hoppy stuff like that, you know, just like, a, but a dark beer. Don't use coffee porter or, you know, things like just that. Just a nice dark. Huh? Yeah, a nice dark simple beer is gonna work for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this in the oven, 325 degrees, and we are going to braise this in the oven, and I'm not even gonna look at it for about an hour and a half. We'll see you back in about an hour and a half. I'm an idiot, and that's nothing new. Remember how I talked about how the brain, the tongue, and then Erin makes good decisions? She reminded me that I didn't season the meat. I didn't talk about seasoning. So the seasoning that I use, now I make my own seasoning blends, okay? I grind my own pepper. I have this little you know, spice grinder that I grind my own peppercorns. Why do I do that? Because I absolutely hate uh, I use so much pepper, I feel like my freaking arm's gonna fall off, okay? Now, you can do this, all right? But what I do is I make my own blend, and here's what it looks like. Look, salt and pepper, okay? Until you go out and buy one of these and grind your own pepper and mix your own blends, guess what? You're gonna have strong forearms. So, you're gonna grind pepper, heavy duty ground pepper salt and a little bit of garlic powder. Now, since I have, this is why I do it. Watch how easy this is. And the sound effects. <laughs> they really it, matter. They make it taste better. Yeah, sing a little song while you're Lucy cooking. Lulu, where'd the Lucy go? Here's the puppies. <gasps> the Lucy Lulu. Oh. Sonny and Lucy. They're hoping so, to get a short rib later. All right. The reason why I don't season the meat before I sear it is because the pepper is going to burn to the uh, pan and it gets all smoky and nasty and it's just it just burns to the pan and you don't want that. I should have, okay, I should have taken those as they were on there and I should have seasoned them but to be honest with you the beauty of the culinary arts is sometimes when you miss something hopefully you have somebody standing over your shoulder saying yo dude like Aaron 
and it's okay. This will be okay. This will turn out fine. We're gonna get this in our handy dandy little oven right here. And at what temperature? 325, that I did remember. Yes. And just I'm we're not gonna to check on that for an hour and a half. So I'm gonna go read some things about uh, video uh, hosting and I'm gonna do some reports and create some new databases for the farm and analyze our inventory and after about an hour and a half I should be able to come and check this out so see you in a bit all right it's been two hours and we're gonna check on this and see what it looks like oven and I'm gonna grab a fork two forks for the fork test oh my goodness gracious that is beautiful that is exactly what you're looking for right oh, there Lord. so the liquid has reduced by probably half of what it was already okay see that I'm pulling that apart that is not ready yet, okay? You want those to easily, easily pull apart. So we're gonna go back in there, and back we aren't gonna look at that. We're now gonna start looking that, we're now gonna start looking at it every half hour, but we wanna keep this baby cooking. And the rule is, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. <laughs> see and then maybe add the mushrooms I think I'm gonna add the mushrooms so we're just oh they're getting closer they're definitely getting closer I think maybe another half hour and we'll be good on these so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the mushrooms and here's why do you see the level of liquid going down that liquids at the bottom I have a choice here, okay? I can either add more of the braising liquid, which is the beer, or I can take the moisture out of these, all right, and add it, okay? So this is gonna add, these mushrooms are gonna add an enormous amount of moisture to the pan, to the dish itself. And I'm gonna stuff them babies down in there so that moisture that's going to evaporate from the mushrooms will act to help that steam, okay? Because what you don't want to do is run out. You don't want to run out of steam, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because then what's going to happen is you're going to burn your meat. You're going to char the bottom of the pan, and that's no fun. Just get them babies packed in there. What about, do they need salted or anything? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them. A little, little tiny bit of salt. I'm not gonna salt them right now. I'll salt them later. Yeah. Because you took away my salt and pepper blend. I don't think we need more pepper. Huh? I think <laughs> we're gonna need more pepper. I don't think so. All right. I'm not gonna hit them with salt right now. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll salt it to taste in a little bit. So okay. we're gonna go back in the oven. Make sure that lid fits on nice and snug. We're gonna go back in the oven and we're gonna look at it in a half hour. We'll see you in a bit. Another half hour. We're gonna give this baby a look-see. And, ah, beautiful. So I'm gonna do two things here. I'm gonna check the liquid, which is great. See that? Mm -hmm. All the, the, the moisture from these did exactly what I thought it was gonna do. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all those mushrooms and I'm gonna work those down into the liquid, okay? As much as possible. Remember, that was huge full oh, yeah. of mushrooms. And now, look at it. A lot of that is all water. A lot of water in the mushrooms. So we're gonna work those down in like that. And then last but not least, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the meat. All right, 
Okay, that is really, okay. We're a half hour out now, okay? We're a half hour away. That is really starting to pull away nicely, all right? So we're gonna go in another half hour, make sure all of those mushrooms are down in the sauce. And we're gonna stick that baby in for another half hour. And I'm pretty certain we're gonna be in it. Make sure. Okay. Yes. Mushrooms oh, are definitely beautiful. Mushrooms are definitely done. We've got enough liquid. Good. And it sure looks like. Yep. Oh, that's it's it. so perfect. That's it. Oh. That's it. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, plate this up. And we're gonna use rice so I'm gonna run out real quick and I'm gonna get the rice you don't want to do that <laughs> don't touch it and then we're gonna make our sauce I'll be right back I got my rice now I'm gonna take my handy dandy pan that I used before and I'm gonna pull the short ribs out and I'm just gonna set these aside all right just for one minute. And here's why. If I put this sauce on right now, as it is, it's gonna be super duper rich, all right? And we need something to break that richness up. And we're gonna use an acid, okay? And we're gonna use apple cider vinegar, all right? You could also use something like a balsamic vinegar, and that's gonna add quite a bit of sweetness to it, okay? We don't want all that sweetness. Now come on in and look at this. That's your gold right there. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. So I'm gonna add. Let's look at the short ribs. Oh gosh, they're falling off the bone. Here. I'm gonna add, I don't know, maybe a quarter, quarter cup. Quarter cup, it looks like, yeah. I'm gonna give her a little taste. It's gonna be hot. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna add a little more salt. You want the sauce to be pretty salty, <clears throat> okay? that a little stir. Okay. Now there's a good bit of fat. If if folks wanted to, you could blend it up, but we like the chunky mushrooms. Yeah. Nice. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Grab the rice. Careful. It's not hot. Oh. Now you can use any like kind of starchy. Polenta is amazing. Yeah, polenta. Um, you could use like quinoa, rice, mashed potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and stick one of these babies on there like that. One of these babies on there like that. Okay. And we're gonna get some sauce drizzled on top. Mushrooms. Oh, those mushrooms look gorgeous. Some sauce, like yay. Throw on a little leeks. This is some leek greens. Give a nice little crunch to it. If you have some parsley, that's good. Yeah. Parsley makes a nice garnish. So that's it. It's uh, it's really simple. It's really straightforward. There's not a whole lot involved uh, with work. Okay, you're not working for three hours. I was uh, doing some work on the, the internet side, doing some inventory stuff, I said earlier. And, you know, you just check on it, make sure that it's not getting out of hand. 
uh, you know, everything's different. What you saw here, yours might be different. Your, your oven might be different. Your pan might be different. So you want to look at those basics, okay? You want to make sure there's enough fluid there. If you don't want to use, see how I use the mushrooms to get fluid. Yeah, the oven just went off. Perfect, <laughs> Perfect timing. So there's a little bit of play in there, but you know, once you get the basics down, you nail it. And if I would have added more of the uh, beer to this, well, then maybe I would need to reduce this down later. But as it sits right now, this turned out perfectly and it is time to eat. We hope you all enjoyed and uh, it inspires more folks to have fun in the kitchen. We'll see you next time.